What up, YouTube? Today, we have a really interesting one for you. We have the cheapest steaks all the way to some of the most expensive steaks out there. And we are going to cook these all with the same method, all with just salt on them. So it's not going to be, you know, some marinade hidden on one and another. And we are going to find out what is the best steak. All the way down here, we have a really cheap steak. It looks honestly disgusting. It's a little brown. Okay, we got this $11 a pound steak from Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. It looks dense or something. We got another grocery outlet bargain market, but grass fed. We're coming in at $13 a pound. Looking like a steak, but looking a little rough. In here, we have the Whole Foods Classic Pasture Raised Ribeye. $27 hitter. That's a, a pound something. So this is gonna come in, the Whole Foods is gonna come in at $19.99 a pound. Next, we have that Masa Mi Grass Fed Grass Finished Steak. This is from Niku Butcher Shop. This is $29.99 a pound. An amazing one, we've had these before. This is the Neiman Ranch Ribeye. Grass Fed Ribeye. Coming in at yep. um, $39.99 a pound for those. Connor, you've had one of those before. What do you think? Mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> And the most expensive one we got right here is the Washuga beef. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I okay. think this is the most expensive one Damn. right here. We got them food of the gods, you know? Yeah. Code of... Lance. <laughs> There's no code. <laughs> we could. We should make a code Lance that adds, <laughs> that like, adds, adds five bucks. It removes free shipping. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It removes free shipping. For shipping. Okay. The Washugu beef <clears throat> steak right here. This is $70 a pound. We have a ribeye here. This is some expensive beef. Guys, what are you excited to try? Seventy dollars a pound. I mean, does it come yeah, with like a massage right or something? Or <laughs> like, <laughs> but, comes you know, with something. That looks good too. Classic ribeye, you know. Uh, what do you, what do you guys think about these? The bacon wrapped fil fillet is gonna. Yeah, it's like, not bacon good. wrapped. Is this not bacon wrapped? It looks like it. Black pepper. We're gonna black we're pepper. taking off the bacon though. All right, guys, we got all the steaks out. We're going with just salt here, okay? So the like six dollar a pound steak. We're just gonna Ooh. put a light salt. Okay, I was working. I work at Whole Foods as like a butcher back in the day. And you get this coloring right here about like five plus days. Like, so it looks it's old. A little, it looks old. It looks old. Okay, we got this Angus one. I mean, this one looks like halfway decent, you know? Okay, next we have this Diamond Valley. Connor, what do you think of this steak right here? Better color. Yeah. Still looks a little messy, but. You know. Yeah, I know, right? Like the actual like texture of it, like compared to we'll see down the line. Right here we have the classic. We get these a lot, I'd say. Like if we're gonna go get a steak, this is very common that we go to Whole Foods and we get a steak. And this looks like a really good one. Like this is a really good ribeye from Whole Foods. So we're just gonna give a light salting right here. Yeah, and uh, I bet if you're in another state than California, you'll be like, no, dude, my ribeyes are 16. Well, we're in California. We get taxed here on everything, everything's more expensive. So I went to Niku Butcher Shop today. This is something that they just brought in. It's grass-fed, grass-finished steak, which, you know, I love is very healthy in many ways, but it often is a tougher cut of meat. Um, so this is $29.99 a pound. It actually has a little less marbling than that pasture-raised Whole Foods one. But yeah, let's salt it up, grill it up. What do you think of this Neiman Ranch? Neiman Ranch is when we want to get fancy. We hit that Neiman Ranch. Is it grass fed? It is grass fed. I think it's a grain finished grass fed. Um, and it has some good marbling there. You can yeah, see that good. marbling. Um, so let's salt it up. Yeah. Oh yeah. It does look like a, like a, almost a little old, you know, maybe we're in a recession, right? Those uh, $40 a pound steaks maybe aren't selling as quick as they used to. All right, next we have the king of the table. The Washugu Ranch, $70 a pound. Ribeye. Look at the marbling on that thing, Lance. What do you think? It's incredible, man. Damn. It's bringing a tear to my eye. Damn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's salt it, it up. up bro. Yeah. All right, guys. Here we go. We got $6 a pound. You know, we got, you know, $29 a pound. We got $40 a pound. We got $70 a pound. We got, you know, $13 a pound. We got all the varieties here, and we're going to cook these up. You guys hungry? I'm yes, sir. so hungry. Dogs? They're beyond hungry. All right, guys, we're going to grill all these up. We're going to start with the nicest steaks because they're all similar in size. And then we're going to do the shitty steaks. So we got this outdoor grill. It looks amazing. Let's throw this thing on. And then these, I will say that those look bad. Fair enough. 
ground meat from the, uh, from the lunch lady. For real. Yeah, that should be ground meat. This one's like falling apart already. Just like cooking it, it's so thin. As they're almost done, the ones that are pretty much done, we're gonna throw on the Traeger on just a really low smoke. We're gonna do that for all of the steaks so they all have the same cooking method, same seasoning of just salt to give them a nice even playing field. So yeah, it looks like the expensive ones are pretty much done. We're gonna throw them on the Traeger for that low smoke, take them out, and then um, the cheaper ones, some of them are almost done. Some of them aren't looking good, some of them are looking pretty good, and some of them are looking rough. So we'll see what happens and how they taste. All right, guys, we have done it. We have all of the steaks here cooked, just salt. We're gonna dive in. Let's start at the, the bad end over here, and then let's work our way up to the nicest one. All right, cheers, here we go. This is the cheapest steak, like six a pound. It's not good. Right, it's supposed to be a fillet, but it's a lot chewier than that. I was gonna say rubbery, like weak. It, it's flavor. It's almost flavorless. You know what I mean? Like very rubbery. It's, it's a steak I would like be a... able to eat for like the macros. Lance about the macros. Ball Set. Frank's hot dog. Ball Frank's hot dog. Very <laughs> hot dog. Okay. Next, we're gonna slice up this. Um, this was grocery from outlet. the grocery outlet bargain market. It tastes the same. But like I've had this before. You know what I mean? Like I'm like this yeah. tastes like familiar. You know what it tastes like? This. Beef jerky. Better chew, like, pretty easy to work through. It honestly tastes the same. I just know that the other one just looks so bad that I feel weird eating. <laughs> okay, next we have the grass-fed one from Dollar... What's it called? Grocery, grocery Outlet, outlet. Bargain dollar, Market. I keep on saying dollar, dollar Tree. Dollar. Okay, Grocery Outlet, Bargain Market. And Joe said this was a very, like, apocalyptic experience going in there. <laughs> he said the guy was rude to him. He said he saw a lot of seniors out there. And, um, you, <laughs> you know, some lady, seniors? I don't have anything against seniors, but th I don't want to shop where they're shopping. Yeah. This one was like $13 a pound. Look at that Dan Marino 13, ladies and I gentlemen. Think that's, that's pretty yeah. normal. I think that's, Costco what, that's what my dad usually gets. Costco, Costco. Okay, okay. Harder to chew, chew but it's, I know it's grass-fed, so. It honestly tastes like shit. <laughs> well, I, what I'm getting is, like, not a lot of flavor from these steaks. Like, you start eating and you're like, it tastes like. Almost like watery rubber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it's like a snorkel water. Those Pretty steaks aren't like bad. Look, if you need to get protein in and you want to eat steak, mm -hmm. get some garlic powder, yeah. get some salt, get some good steak seasoning, season those things up, especially like that one right there, not bad at all. Okay, Whole Foods steak, this was about nineteen ninety nine a pound is what I usually see that, 18 to 19 a pound at Whole Foods. This is a pasture-raised ribeye, which means it's mostly grass-fed, they finish it on grain. Honestly, looked like one of the best from there. This, we eat this a lot, so this will be familiar. Yeah. Yep. That's really, really good. Yep. Mm. Very familiar. Mm -hmm. We eat a lot of this steak. The Whole chew. Foods near us. Yeah, the chew. The juice, the flavor, mm -hmm. the little crispy crumbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it cooked well. You don't need much seasoning for that. No, right? you don't. The difference between that 13 <clears throat> to 18... Huge. I'd rather, if like I was budgeting my money, I would get a smaller cut of this versus a lot of that and just spend the same amount of money and, oh, I'm eating like, you know, 0.7 pound steak versus like, you know, a little over a pound of that because this is just really good. So, yeah, the guy was like, oh, you don't want to get that, Brendan. You want to get the Wagyu for me? He's a great guy. He's like, you know, Trying really to into me. He, he just he knows what I like, but I was like, no, man, like, let me, let me get this. I'm filming a vlog, so he was stoked. Tupper, we might see that here. Got the four slices right there. Yeah, sometimes when you cook it, you can almost smell like the grass cooking off. For real. Yeah. Albert? Yeah. All right, guys, so your review on the Masami uh, beef, the grass-fed, grass-finished. What do you think? Uh, a little tough, like the dude was saying. I like the Whole Foods better. Yeah, I like the Whole Foods better. Yeah. Uh, flavor was pretty good on this. Uh, it was it was like juicy. Yeah, juicy was. I bet that mm. fat cap right there is gonna be like really really good. Yeah, the Whole Foods one for less money is this pretty one good. Prettier yeah. though. It did look prettier. Okay, Guys, smart. Neiman Ranch is something that we get when we're trying to treat ourselves. It's a big UFC fight or something. Uh, we usually go towards Neiman Ranch. Let's see. Neiman Ranch is always like if you want a hitter ribeye, we know. If Joe calls me, he's like, dude, I'm picking up a Neiman Ranch ribeye. We're stoked. A boo wrap. Mm. Yep. Texture. More of those. Great. Flavor. Great. She's like, what? I mean, it's just, it's really good. That's yeah. a really good, really good bite of steak. The, whole foods? the texture in the Whole Foods might have been 
I like but the flavor the fla- slightly better in the Whole Foods. I don't know. I don't know. This That's one just, fine. Yeah. You chew it too fast almost. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's, it's a, you, you take a bite and then it's gone. All right, Sadie. We have the Washugu Ranch. Guys, I hope this is good because it's $79 a pound. This is expensive mm. steak here. Um, you know, when I was in this butcher shop, there's like tech elites and all these people like, oh, let me get the best steak. So let's dive in. Let's see. It almost looks like Wagyu for a second. No, it, it like it just the flavor is flavor right off the bat. Just like it just is. Joe, you got to try a bite of this behind the camera. I was willing to be objective and, and you know, give the whole food steak the win or like say a mix maybe between Neiman Ranch and the whole food, something like that. But this is so good. Yeah. Like it just is. Mm, wow. That's phenomenal. It's really good. Okay. The award of the best steak, it, it goes to the most expensive steak. The seventy nine ninety nine a pound. It just is the best. We can't stop eating it. It's really, really good. Whole Foods really stood out to me in terms of like price point. Mm-hmm. Eighteen ninety nine a pound. That was really good. Yeah, we try. I tried not being bougie about it. Like Whole Foods was holding its own on like the higher. It really was. Steaks. Yeah, for sure. Like the forty a pound, and certainly the thirty dollar grass fed, you know, masa me or whatever. Wh- like mm-hmm. you're gonna spend double the price for the Whole Foods to this. It's you're, like yeah, you're spending for the grass fed, grass finished, like kind of look a little bit aged and like the you know the Miku steak shop, right? Yep. That's yep. Exactly. Shitty steaks. What do you think? Shitty steaks. Yeah, you get what you pay for at a certain price point, right? Between yeah. like, the Whole Foods and even looking at it now, like the thirteen dollar one wasn't bad, but like you're not really saving that much if you. This is already turning into beef jerky. Yeah, that looks like shit. Yeah, looks like shit. Dog food now. Um, all right, that is it. Hope this helped you in your steak choosing process at the grocery store. Bon appetit. <laughs>